of the communication. So let's go in virtual system. So next we have a command. Uh, so if you want to go in uh, virtual system, so you have to use this command switch virtual system, the name of virtual system that you select, we select it FW1 virtual. So now you can see here when we switch to our virtual fire, firewall, so it's uh, come in system view of that firewall. Now we are in virtual firewall, but the system view of that virtual firewall. So now we have to go in a global view. Now we are global view here. We will select this interface. If you do the display current configuration, so it will show you that there is only one uh, interface exists because because we only uh, add this one interface to this public firewall or oh, sorry virtual firewall. So here automatically created uh, its virtual interface one. It is its its uh, own, and but we assign this physical interface to this one so only one uh, interface exists there so uh, let's go toward the uh, IP scheme so now we go in interface giga 1 slash 0 slash 0 which is this interface of firewall and then we give the IP address what is the IP address here is 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 and 24 and then now uh, we give this side uh, this physical interface now we have to give the IP address on virtual interface one, which is this one, which is facing to public firewall. So now we go back interface, virtual interface, sorry, virtual interface uh, one, and IP address would be uh, one seventy two dot one six dot one dot two and twenty four. <coughs> sorry. Now we give the IP. Now again we have to uh, select the trust and untrust zone. So here, if you are here, so what is your trust site? Obviously, yes, this enterprise network site, our trust. So we will add this uh, G1 slash 0 slash 0 in trust site and our virtual interface one in untrust site. So let's add this firewall zone uh, trust. So you have to add the uh, add interface giga 1 slash 0 slash 0 in trust site. And if you go in firewall zone and trust, here you add your interface virtual interface one on untrust side because it's facing the carrier uh, uh, side. So that's why we this is the untrust interface. So here you have also select the uh, uh, give the uh, IP address. So we will use IP route static. If you want to go on internet zero slash zero slash zero anywhere, just go through previously we give this as a next hope here we give zero uh, public we can give uh, uh, we can also use as it says uh, virtual inter vsys virtual interface zero but uh, uh, they have an option that you can't use that option so just use this public because this is a public facing interface so just add this as a public it means is it mean uh, is also same that if you want to go on this side, so just if you want to go on internet, just go through this next stop. So our next stop is a public interface, so public virtual interface zero. So that's why we add this that command. So that is the built-in command. So our second uh, uh, route is if you want to go here on enterprise network side, so just go through this next stop. So it's IP route static if you want to go on 10.1.1.0.24 so just go through 10.1.1.2 which is uh, this one this interface if you are here on so if you want to go here just go to this next next scope interface so just add that and after that our uh, IP route has been completed now you have to uh, create the security policy security policy uh, rule name same like uh, uh, we create it on public firewall so uh, trust to to and trust and uh, rule name so we have create rule name uh, here we have to uh, select the source our source is so here our source is a trust zone obviously this side is our source so our source is a trust zone our destination is untrust and uh, now our source address is the same as we given previously our LAN network enterprise network 10.1.1.0 and 24 our uh, action is permit and then oh, quit 
now we have to create another rule from untrust to uh, trust side from untrust to trust side and here you have a rule uh, sorry so zone from untrust to trust our source is untrust for zone untrust our destination is trust so you have to give the uh, specify the destination address so you can uh, specify n.1.1.0 and 24 and then action permit and then go back so here you have complete the configuration now uh, we have to go here we have to give the ip address from view interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 0 ip address is 1.1.1.254 and 24 and here you have to give the uh, route as well because uh, if traffic come here so uh, you have to give the route so just uh, add a static route ip route static you want to go on 10.1.1.0 .1 .1 uh, network 24 just paste go through this this dot one dot one dot one is you want to go on this network 1.1.0 network, network just go through this next row which is 1.1.1 .1 .1 and here as well we add a system view interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 0 and ip address would be 10.1.1.2 which is this one this interface g 0 0 0 and 24 here you also add a route that ip route static yes ip route static if you want to go on internet 0 slash 0 slash 0 0 go through 10.1.1.1 which is this interface if you want to go here so just go through this next stop 10.1.1 so now we ping 1.1.1 it will communicate from here to here via virtual system so uh, this virtual system virtual firewall one is protecting our this network and this our public firewall uh, is also communicating because uh, this virtual firewall is going through communicating to public firewall and then going to internet so it is our two layer security because we add two firewalls one is virtual firewall on enterprise network uh, edge and uh, other firewall is in front of this virtual firewall so let's ping 1.1.1.254 it, it would be reachable so now you can see here it is reachable so if you uh, want to check your uh, gateway 10.1.1.1 so it will not ping will not come because you have to open the ping here so in firewall by default uh, firewall interfaces are not pingable reachable so you have to open the ping so just go here so now you can see here so this is uh, this interface g1 slash 0 slash 0 is on uh, virtual firewall so you have to switch the virtual firewall and then go in 1 slash 0 slash 0 and then you will open so we are already in virtual firewall so we just go directly 1 slash 0 slash 0 so display this so you, you can see here this is the ip address here so here you will uh, add a command service manage ping permit so now your ping will be come um, now you can see here ping is coming from here side i want to check my uh, this firewall interface let's check if i ping 1.1.1.1 uh, it will not come so we have to go on uh, this interface and then we have to Select. but this interface d1 slash 0 slash 0 exists in public firewall so you have to go back quit so now we are executing virtual system now we are in ffw which is the public firewall so here if i display current configuration all the remaining interface will show here so now you can see here this interface is showing here uh, all the interface 1 slash 0 slash 1 is exist here 1 slash 0 slash 0 2 is exist here 1 slash 0 slash but this interface 1 slash 0 slash 1 which is this interface it's telling us this ip bind you bind this interface with the vpn instance virtual firewall 1 so here in this we run this command you can see here so here in public system we go here in this firewall so we didn't bind this interface ip binding interface in virtual firewall so this here g001 in public firewall so there you can't see any ip binding vpn instant because it's a global mode or virtual uh, public firewall so that's why so now we go here interface giga one giga one slash zero slash one and then uh, if you display this so uh, service manage 
ping permit now you will if you ping it will be reachable now it's reachable so that's how you can open the ping if you want to go you, so suppose we are in public firewall so let's go interface giga one slash zero slash uh, zero which is existing this firewall if you display this will show you that this interface is if i undo ping undo uh, service manage serving ping so it undo service manage by question mark enable so it will give an error, error that you are in not virtual system this interface is assigned to virtual system please configure it in the virtual system so first we have to we are in a public uh, public system we have to go in virtual system and then we have to change can we can changes make changes on this interface so that's why we have to go in virtual so the command is switch uh, virtual system f v f w one so system view interface giga one slash zero slash zero and here you can do undo uh, service manage enable so now you can see here the command is uh, run so here we open this service manage interface service manage ping permit uh, first is saying that we have to enable the service menu has been closed please enable service manage enable by default is enable so service manage ping permit now you can see here so that's how uh, virtual system works so if you have any questions so you can ask in comment so if you uh, want more understanding about virtual system so uh, kindly ask in comments so i will make another video so this is a virtual system and we create two virtual system and communicate that virtual system uh, uh, from uh, land to uh, carrier network so uh, thank you very much hope you like the video